Hi everybody, Mark here from Little Robot Friends and today we're going to show you how to install Arduino and the Little Robot Friends library for Windows. Now the current version of Windows that I'm using here is Windows 7. Uh, you may have a different version of Windows. Um, we may make videos for your version of Windows if you're not running 7. Uh, but for now, use this as a guide to uh, get you started. Uh, for the most part, it's going to be the same across the board. All right, so step one. We need to download, install, and launch Arduino. So open up your browser and navigate to the arduino.cc website. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Arduino, uh, it's a great platform, an educational platform for teaching how to program electronics. And the reason why we made Little Robot Friends uh, compatible with the Arduino platform is because they have fantastic resources. Um, you can go onto their page, check out the learning section. Uh, you can find out all sorts of information about programming electronics with C and C++. And those are the languages that we use for programming Little Robot Friends. Uh, there's also forums, support. Uh, there's lots of stuff out there. Um, you just have to Google for it. Uh, but for now, we're going to go to the Downloads tab, and we're going to download a Windows installer. Now you'll see here it says Arduino 1.6.13. That's the current version of Arduino, and it, it's a good idea to download whatever the current version uh, of Arduino there is because they're constantly working on the software, making it better, um, and... Uh, you know, it, it makes sense to go and check out uh, the latest version. Um, and when you click on the download link, uh, you'll be taken to a uh, contribute page. Uh, so after you use the software, if you find like you've learned lots of great stuff and you want to give back to the Arduino community, uh, you can make a donation here. But for the purposes of, uh, of this video, we're just going to download. So I'm going to start that download. Um, I've actually already downloaded this file, so let's just go into my downloads folder and check it out. And so here you see Arduino 1.6.13. I'm going to go ahead and double click that. Uh, of course, you're going to want to agree through all of these things, all of these uh, terms and conditions. Um, so this is going to go through, it's going to install the software, install the driver, do all sorts of other things. Uh, you can select or deselect as you wish. Just go ahead and click install. And you can put it wherever you want. So this is going to take a little bit of time. So uh, you, know, you may want to go and grab a cookie or something and you can come back when we get Arduino installed. Okay, so uh, we're back. Um, We've been just been prompted with this. Would you like to install this device software? So this is a USB driver for Arduino. You can click to always trust their software. Uh, install the drivers. We're going to be installing a Little Robot Friends driver a little bit later. Uh, but uh, for now, we just want to install everything that uh, Arduino uh, requires for us to install. Here's yet another driver. Let's install that one as well. <laughs> And if you want, you can click Show Details in order to find out uh, what's happening here. And completed. So now we can click Close. So that means that Arduino has been installed. So let's go ahead and launch Arduino. I'm going to minimize this window. Here's our shortcut. Let's open that. <clears throat> uh, we're going to want to just allow access. And this is our sketch window. So this is uh, this is how we uh, write code in order to upload it to a piece of hardware, which is what Arduino is all about. Um, but before we get started uh, with uh, Little Robot Friends, we have to do a couple more steps. So let's move on to step number two. In Arduino Tools Boards Board Manager, download and install the SAMD package. So let's go in there right now. We're going to go under Board, which is in the Tools menu. Board, Boards Manager. And that's going to bring up this list of different packages that you can install for Arduino to add different types of boards. Now, uh, a board in Arduino world means a new piece of hardware or a new device. 
And Little Robot Friends is a new board. Uh, but for right now, what we need is this Arduino SAMD boards package. So what we want, though, is not 1.6.9, 1.6.5. That's been the version that we found is most uh, uh, works the best with uh, what we're doing. So we're going to go ahead and install that. That's going to take a couple seconds. Okay, and uh, we're back. And we just got this uh, message. Do you want to allow this program to make changes on your computer? These things are fine. Uh, it's completely understandable. If you're not sure, you may want to ask someone um, if it's okay if you install this. But uh, all of these things from Arduino are, are pretty good, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. So here we go, we're installing, and now we should see Arduino Sam D Boards blah 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 by Arduino version 1.6.5 installed. Great, so let's go ahead and close this. And now we can move on to step three which is to download and install the Little Robot Friends for Arduino library. So let's go back to our browser, and I've already gone to the page. So this is littlerobotfriends.com slash get started. And this is a page where we have a bunch of resources for getting started with your robot. You may have already visited this page, and you're going to want to scroll down to where it says Arduino library and download the beta library here. Um, this may say something different. It may just say library, but it's uh, our library was in beta at the time of recording this video. So I've actually already downloaded that library. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my downloads folder. And here it is. And I'm going to unzip that. And here you see a file folder called LRF Arduino 2.0 Beta 03. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, I have to move this into a very special folder location. Now, this folder location is called our sketchbook. Uh, for a second, go back to Arduino and under File Preferences, you're going to see this sketchbook location. And here, this is going to show the path to where our sketchbook is located. So there, it's uh, C Users Me. Documents slash Arduino. Actually, while I'm here, I'm going to change my editor font size for a second. That's better. And uh, so you're going to want to go into your documents folder, find this Arduino, and inside it'll be kind of blank, except for this folder called libraries. Now, what we have to do is we have to create a new folder inside here called hardware. So let's go ahead and do that hardware. And we're going to take our Little Robot Friends library and put it inside that hardware folder. Copy, copy, copy. Let's go in there. There it is. You can go ahead and minimize these windows. And in order for us to see our library, we need to restart Arduino. So go ahead and close Arduino and then relaunch it. And under Tools, you're now going to see, at the bottom here, you're going to see Little Robot Friends. So there's two entries here for our Little Robot Friends boards. One is called Little Robot Friends Analysis. And that's just a, uh, that's just a, a version that we made to make, make it easier for people to debug their robots. But for now, we're just going to pick Little Robot Friends. And also, if you go under File, Examples, Scroll, scroll, scroll. You're going to see examples for Little Robot Friends. So these are a bunch of uh, a bunch of example files that we created to get you started with the basics of programming Little Robot Friends. So let's go ahead and open Set Up in Loop. And here it is. Very simple code. And uh, what we're going to want to do is verify that our library is working. So let's go ahead and press this check mark. And this check mark is our verify button. You can also get to it under sketch verify slash compile. But let's uh, click this check mark. And that's going to go through and compile our sketch. Um, it goes through 
uh, all of our code to make sure that we haven't made any mistakes, uh, which is important to know. So you can see it's compiling, 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 and success. Now what happens if you get something wrong? So like for example, I spell motion wrong. Now let me click verify. And pretty quickly, it's going to point out that we have an error on this uh, on this line. The compiler stopped right there, and it tells us that Little Robot Friends has no member named Moshio. So we're going to just go back and fix that problem, click verify again, and uh, everything should work out fine. And there we go, we've done compiling. Now we want to upload. So this button next to here is upload, but before we upload, we have to install our little robot friend driver. So what we're going to do is now we're going to plug in our robot and install the USB driver. So go ahead and take your robot, plug it in over USB, and turn it on. Okay, so what we're going to want to do now is install our USB driver for our little robot friend. So go ahead and turn your robot on, plug it into the USB port, and you may get a pop-up saying that uh, it can't find the driver, it doesn't know where the driver is, what am I going to do, what am I going to do. Uh, go down to this icon, and we're going to want to pull up our devices and printers. Right, so click that, and that should open up. And under um, unspecified, you'll see something that says Little Robot Friends. So go ahead and double click that, and that's going to bring up another panel. Uh, let me just go ahead and close some of this stuff so it's easier to see. And we're going to go into hardware. Uh, click on Little Robot Friends here, click on Properties. Uh, we want to change settings, and so this is our Little Robot Friends hardware. So we need to update the drivers. So let's click that, and let's browse my computer for driver software. So we're going to go into Documents, Arduino, Hardware, LRF Arduino, click OK, click Next. And it's going to go and it'll say, you may find this that uh, you may get this warning, Windows can't verify the publisher of this driver software. Uh, this is a code signing issue. It probably be resolved uh, by the time you guys are installing. But uh, you can just go ahead and install this driver software anyway. And that's just going to go and, uh, and install our USB driver. It'll just take a second. All right. It's finished installing. Let's close this. Close. OK. And now our little robot friend should be ready to use. So let's go in and uh, open up Arduino again. Now under the tools, now under port, you see COM3 little robot friends. All right. So let's click on that and click the upload button. So that's going to go through, compile our sketch again, and start uploading it to our little robot friend. You may see the blue light on your robot blinking. It's going to upload, upload, upload. And then you'll get your robot startup sound. And we just uploaded code to our little robot friend for the first time. Congratulations, everybody. Good job. Pat yourself on the back. Um, and that's it. Uh, Thanks for watching this video. Um, we're going to have more videos that will walk through some of these examples, uh, these example files in greater detail, as well as you know, showing you uh, special tips and tricks on how to do cool things with your robot, such as well, updating its firmware and restoring it to its base state. Uh, but for now, go ahead and, uh, and poke around with your new little robot friend and let us know how everything goes. Thanks for watching.